update. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Matt Sheehan live at our digital desk. Here's a look at this morning's headlines. Well, new details have emerged in the stabbing death of retired Peoria doctor uh, surgeon Dr. William Marshall. Police arrested 54-year-old Robert Eli in the St. Louis, Missouri area and charged him with first-degree murder in the crime. Peoria County State's Attorney Jody Hoos says Eli was part of a traveling crime group. She says Eli and others targeted the elderly and burglarized their homes. During the investigation, police were able to find the car they say Eli drove and the knife used in Marshall's murder. Paintings stolen from Marshall's home were found in a storage unit connected to Eli. Authorities say no other burglaries resulted in a death, but evidence shows Marshall and Eli may have had a confrontation before his murder. Dr. Marshall probably figured out what was going on, um, you know, tried to stop it or get the individual out of his house, and unfortunately that then led to the confrontation to the death of Dr. Marshall. Authorities would not say how many others face charges. Who says Eli is expected to be extradited to Peoria within the next 10 days? In the Peoria County courtroom yesterday, a missing person case turned homicide investigation. 32-year-old Gabriel Cook disappeared on March 9th, and to this day, he's not been found. Now, 28-year-old Alan Schimmelfenning is facing a first-degree murder charge related to the disappearance of Cook. Prosecutors laid out a timeline of what they say led up to the murder. They say on March 8th, the pair got into an argument over drugs and money. It happened at a storage unit that belongs to Schimmelfenning, located on North Hale Avenue in Peoria. Yesterday, they presented cell phone and ankle bracelet data from Tazewell County that confirms Schimmelfenning was at the scene. Prosecutors also say that investigators found shell casing and Cook's blood in the storage unit. The judge setting bond at $2 million. A preliminary hearing is set for July 8th. And right now, Peoria police need your help finding a missing woman. 34-year-old Kimberly Anderson is missing. Anderson is described as a white woman, 5 feet, 11 inches tall, about 420 pounds, with brown eyes and brown hair. She was last seen on June 9th around noon in the 3600 block of North Rochelle. If you know where she is, call Peoria police. Well, let's check in now with meteorologist Molly Naslin. Good morning, Molly. On our Pontiac RV camera, sunny skies and hot temperatures expected as we go throughout the end of the week. We'll be in the upper 80s and low 90s before we cool down Tuesday through Thursday. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back.